Welcome back. It is another episode of the Warp Report. I am joined once again by Rock and Luke, and this time our special guest, Demetrius. How are we doing on Hello, today? hello, hello. Good evening. Yeah, it's evening. Yeah, it's 9 p.m. Of course it's evening. Hello, guys. What's up? How's everybody doing? Hey, Mr. D. Oh, sorry, I'm fine. There he is. There he is. There is the man. Uh, Oh, God. So, um, Demetrius, uh, you've been listening to our podcast, I hope. Um, This is probably say yes, and we say, oh, thank you. (laughs) Of course Uh, I've been listening. This is the part where you tell us how great it is. Not every episode, Um, just, just, you know, a few. I I skip on the lore episodes myself, but... (laughs) <laughs> oh, damn. That's fair. That fair, enough. Fair, enough. fair enough. Fair enough. You know fair me. enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. I can I can respect that. You know, fair not enough. everyone is a uh, lore, but yeah, to um, kill list, Demetrius. There you go. So, uh, Demetrius, then, just for people who do not know who you are, because I, although many of us do, because you are. Um, like me, you are one of our glorious Primarchs under the God Emperor Suhun. Um, what? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, t- tell uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, what your you know a um, little bit about yourself? Uh, anything you want to tell us? Sure. Uh, well, my name is Demetrius. Uh, most people in the community just call me D. Uh, I've been in Korea since 2017. Uh, work for the military, work at a big post office in Pyeongchang now, and uh, I'm a nerd in my spare time. To those who don't know, yeah. D is also known yes. as Handsome Chocolate Man. Uh, he's a very a strong competitive player in the Pyeongchang area. So, go on. Thunder Mountain, <laughs> as I like to call him. <laughs> I wouldn't say strong, but I'm, 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 I'm getting there slowly. <laughs> so... <laughs> You're with, you know how every ma- every all of us have our counter matchups. You know, for like me, it's things with lots of shots or, or things that stop charging. For you know, uh, Death Guard, it's you know things that can kind of bog them down, da- that can shoot them as they advance. Uh, for D, it really is the clock, <laughs> um, from what I've seen. <laughs> okay, here comes the clock, Joe. Oh, low here blow comes there, the Nick. Clock jokes. <laughs> Well, isn't it? Hey, isn't I it too gotta, simple for glug well, jokes? Actually, it's much better. S- ever, it's much better since uh, you st- since you've uh, switched over from the ad mech. Speaking of which, I uh, <laughs> heard you have a new toy because you're sick of me coming after you. Well, 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 well. In defense, of, in defense of D and the, and the clock, at least he can he uses his clock for the full game. Not like some people who didn't even get the game. There is no clock running. Sorry, Rock. And Rock definitely needs a clock because he <laughs> D, always shows up. You got up a new. Uh... <laughs> oh, yeah. That's one time. That's one too many. That's, That's one, one too many. That's all it takes. <laughs> you know Monsters. how many tournaments I've been late for, Rock? Zero. Ooh. Oh my God. Whatever. Sorry. Go Whatever. on, D. But um, but uh, D, I heard you got. I, it looks like from the chat you're getting some new toys. Just for me. Well, I, went, I, went, I wouldn't say it's <laughs> just, just for, for you, but uh, we know how much I like shooting and anything with uh, anything right. with D3 plus 3, but in this case, D3 plus 6 or whatever it is. So oh <laughs> it shoots, uh, shoots clear across <laughs> the table. So uh, sign me up. I heard you're getting a Zeno yeah, this yeah. time. <laughs> it, they're uh, sitting on the table now just working on a, a, a color scheme, and I have about a... Four thousand points already. <laughs> I, I, I oh my god! Well, I can probably already. say that I helped you to fund that that menace, the tell menace over there. Yeah, so. I got uh, you monster. Yeah. What have you done? I got a, I got a tra- carry case. I, I can. I think. I think all three of us have also had a hand in pushing him towards this, pushing this man to finally break. <laughs> <laughs> well, to, the- to be honest, I, I was always uh, my first army was going to be uh, Tao. But being the competitive player that I am, I did my research and realized they were uh, trash tier when I when when I, when I first oh, started. Oh, they, trash yeah, tier. No, right now, Tau is probably yeah, the yeah. worst army. When in I the first game. started playing, so then I uh, I just kept looking at shooty armies, and uh, that took me to Admech. So. Mm-hmm. 
Right. And uh, I always wanted to play that uh, that army, but my opponents would would sh- would slap me because I'd be singing the Evangelion theme song every time I'm Jesus moving Christ. something. No, I <laughs> no, it's a Gundam I do remember. Song, uh, I do remember uh, <laughs> Dees, I don't know. I remember Dee's first tournament though. Uh, <laughs> the first tournament he played that. That's the first time I met him. He was a suit, and he was playing at Mech. Uh, he was the first man to kill the Bio Titan in one triangle turn. Yes, he took you, it down. You were the first person. Oh, yeah, yeah, the good old days yeah. when um, yeah. uh, laser chickens were uh, core. Yeah. The and, and if it weren't for the clock, you, he should have won the game. The only reason that it was mad, but man, that it, yeah. the first, like, after like 20 minutes of the turn one, he suit turns back. It's like, guys, by the turn is dead. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> the world well, stopped. I, I did lose that game on fair and square, but. Uh, it did feel really good in my pants when I killed that bio titan. <laughs> <laughs> I got to I got to say though, you are also the first person to kill the unkillable KFC. Oh, yeah, that's true. No, didn't didn't I kill um, it with Mortarion before that? No, he oh, was really? the first. He no, Ooh. D was the first. So what happened was Ooh. is we had some chicken on chicken violence <laughs> and I was killing his chickens with my chicken. <laughs> And uh, oh my God. It, it got shot, and I failed an impossible roll. Oh, the impossible roll. The impossible yeah, roll. So, so great. Oh, and uh, I failed the roll, and it committed Sudoku. Ouch. The big Sudoku. <laughs> hey, it counts. Still, it still does count because it, if I had passed the roll, if I had rolled a two, it would have died anyways. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I say it counts because if I had failed it, it was going to die. So it just chose to go out with good honor. job, good job, good job, good job, good job, dude. But uh, yeah, I guess you just took a good, big gamble and let Zeech just slap, mm-hmm. right? <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, the thing was, the chicken was the only thing that could get back there, <laughs> right? So it just started. I mean, he got like four Ballastaris before he died. Yeah, back, I think that's back when I was running like eight to nine chickens in a list. You, it's whenever you had six of a, six or seven in that game. I think, yeah, and I got like four of them plus your both your marshals and your dominus. So I was like, he was tearing through the back. I think line. we all got to face D Admech or uh, Rock didn't play them. Yeah, for did sure, you play the, his Admech? We did. Rock, do you play his Admech? Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, oh, he yeah, did. he we beat did. me in tournaments mm-hmm. also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Rock what? beat me the first game uh, I played against his uh, Death Guard. But uh, you have me by the ropes, honestly. Yeah, I don't, I, like, I don't like playing against Death Guard. I have a, I have a tough time uh, approaching. Uh, Nobody the does, dude. Nobody does. <laughs> like they, wow. they give me a lot of trouble. So. No, I remember my first game with you was uh, oh. the tournament that you one shot Belakor. <laughs> Turn oh, one, yeah, like that oh, felt great. <laughs> he, he goes just went boom. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I like shooting things. Oh, there was the Belakor. <laughs> Although I gotta say, one of my favorite games, we never got to finish it, but I was playing Grey Knights versus uh Demons. Oh and god. <laughs> I was like jumping around playing dodgy, and I'm like, wait a minute, why is my Lord of Pla- Change playing scared? Death has no consequences. So I just like charged him at his stuff and it refused to die so that I could spend the two CP to bring it back <laughs> in full health. <laughs> just stupid, stupid. That was a that I game. I think we though, stopped playing. I spent three. The three I think CP. we stopped playing in the third turn, yeah. and Nick decided to. Oh yeah, let's uh, see what the score would be from the third turn. <laughs> and, of, and of course, <laughs> yeah, I was I was trying to point things out because that's like in my nature. I just do that out of force of habit. I was like, there's no <laughs> way we could figure this game out. Very cheeky. Yeah, yeah pretty much. <laughs> Although. It was pretty funny. I did 52 wounds to his two Dread Knights. Yeah, way, oh, over, way overkill. <laughs> I, I, yeah, and then it's like, that's the thing is it's like, oh, look, a Dread Knight. Shame you have a three up. <laughs> Bellacor. Well, well, but um, since yeah. we are it, and just for curiosity, um, I mean, we, we will catch up with some games and stuff uh, because we have a few things to talk about. Uh, since you've been here since right, 20, right. 2017, but you've been playing 4K a long time ago, weren't you? Or at least were interested. Can you tell us a bit more about that, D? Okay, so uh, I first started playing back when I was like 16. Uh, my, the first models I got were this uh, this Dark Eldar collector's box. And then I uh, got it for my birthday, got home, sat down, didn't realize I spent all my money and couldn't put anything together. 
right? <laughs> <laughs> Shocking. <laughs> Shocker. It's just so expensive when you're a teenager, right? And plus, uh, plus right. back then, uh, a lot of my uh, extra money went into uh, Magic the Gathering, which I was into uh, the competitive oh scene God. very hard. Just two, two pre. That is money not cheap, that. sir. Yeah. Ooh. So, uh, so I wasn't, I wasn't going to invest in another hobby. So, uh, the Dark Eldar went to the closet and were never seen again. But uh, I've always watched videos. I was watching uh, battle reps before they were recorded on YouTube. Mm. Right. So they would uh, they would basically just take pictures and then like blog the entire. Yeah. Blog, narrations. Uh, oh, the old yeah, uh, white yeah. dwarf yep, style. Yep, 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 they'd, yep. they'd be on different uh, websites and stuff. And I'd read like just tons of these bat reps instead of instead of playing. I love so, those. Yeah. I, <laughs> to this day, I'd still yeah, love they were those. Great. But then uh, so after that, there was no 40K. I would just watch bat reps uh, here and there. And then. uh I came out to uh, Korea and I was playing uh, Magic the Gathering super hard with the best friend of mine in Seoul, you know, super competitive like always. And then uh, I got the job in Pyeongtaek and I was like, you know what, I'm going to give it a rest for a little bit and uh, try my hand at a uh, 40K since I knew Benny and his group of people uh, played every weekend. So that's that's how I got started again. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, you know, commander for life. Um, <laughs> but, Ooh. Uh, Ooh. As I say, I know D hates commander. I love co- I'm a sole commander player. Um, I, I look at D's decks and I'm just like, all right, where's the rest of it? <laughs> <laughs> competitive all day. You know that. I are used to play competitive. Or, or you it a, just like what kind of deck do you play? D? Like control deck or like. Uh, tier one decks, right? <laughs> wow. Okay. You know, the, the, you, uh, right, wrong. you know the, the deck you can't afford? That one. And specifically that tier, one. Tier one right. decks. So, right, right, do, right, right. Do, right. do you know what my favorite kind of deck is? The ones that, uh, I remember I played Magic. I think I told you this. I played Magic, and on one of my turns, I got the a perfect combo off to where Sam, Justin, and James got up, had a conversation, took a break to eat some leftover pizza, came back to the table, and sat back down, and my That's turn was still going. That's why I don't play going. Commander. <laughs> 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 you can, hey, you can pull that off in Modern, too. It was a Prismari yeah, deck. You, you, oh my it was God. the new set. It's the new yeah, set. Yeah, but you, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't see anything like that in like like tournaments or anything like that. But, but you know, that's, that's just the type of player I am. I, I never really uh, been a right. fan of the, you know, the casual scene. I don't know why. It, oh, and, you know, it's, okay. it is what it is, right? Like, yeah, some, some people, people are. are. Some people just are. I just can't, right, right, right. I just I can't play that. something for, for fun. And I know that sounds silly. Like, you know, m- most people play games for fun. For me, I, I like the competitive side of it. So, being competitive, right? Knowing you know what's good, you know the what's what's the meta. That's that's fun for me. So, right, and I think uh, a lot of the guys. I think like we have a good mix of people in our chat, and even among the admins that are. Some of us are uber competitive, like you, me, uh, Suhoon, Justin, Remy. We're all super super competitive players. To where we're always uh, swapping back lists, checking up on the latest tournaments, sharing info. Um, it is it is nice having the group chat because we're always uh, swapping back and forth. Uh, what's going on? Because like you catch a lot of stuff that I don't see um, because you're on the forums a lot more. Whereas I'm usually sitting around on a BCP scrolling through the we- the weekend's yeah. events. Seeing if anything yeah, interesting pops up. Yeah, I do. I do up. the BPC thing. I got a couple of subscriptions to, you know, the like Art of War and a few others, which probably a few too many. Yeah. But, <laughs> but you know, that's 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 what that's I enjoy. Girl. You know, I might not be the the greatest player, right. but I'm gonna get better because you know I do the uh, I, li- I like to do the research part of it. No, no, no. Respect, respect. Respect. As I say, uh, I can definitely tell you from the first time I came down to Pyeongtaek to whenever I come down now, it used to be, uh, I think, what was it? I used to just, uh, now it's actually like the Pyeongtaek group. I actually struggle into a cup, like I have to think against a couple of the players 
Whereas before it was, I would throw all my demons forward, turn one, and just stomp everything in their way. <laughs> yeah, I like to say. Uh, I, do you remember when I did that? Yes, too, uh, I remember, Nick? and I like to. I like to say I'm responsible for uh, in, uh, for uh, Pyongtech Nick uh, switching from Space Wolves to Jakari because he was tired of losing to Admin. Oh my god! <laughs> I, I definitely feel like I had a huge hand in that because I think it was by turn two he had three models left on the table. By the end of turn two, three models were left on the table for him. You monsters. Was, uh, <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> uh, well, what happened was, you see, what happened What happened was um, I did the uh, in- Infernal Gateway onto his castle, which had his library, which had a librarian, a captain, and then like three units all oh, like God. clustered around each other. And I got uh, D6 mortal wounds on all of them. Ooh. And just I just killed his cap his chapter master and his librarian and like half of his melee units turned one. See, this is when no one likes playing with you, man. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. I totally understand. Whenever people are like Nick, I don't like playing with you. I'm like, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> and if you complain, <laughs> under, under it's just like understandable. Have a nice day. <laughs> Good grief, man. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's a. Uh, but Pyongtech has definitely gone from just uh, from what it felt, and I know we'll talk about this later. Just from like what felt like just kind of a the smallest group where we'd be like, oh yeah, the Pyongtech group, to where now it's like, oh wow, there's a lot there's of Pyongtech gang. Like it, it exploded. Yeah, the Pyongtech gang exploded. It's like a jungle out there. Yeah, you know, it's a uh, it's pretty cool knowing that uh, it started with me and Drew. And uh, now it's <laughs> and now trying. it's uh, I think in our in our group chat we got like twenty four people. I don't know when it happened, <laughs> but uh, I was I was scrolling through the names and you know like like all like all uh, group chats and stuff. You have some people who 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 don't talk at right. all who've who've gone missing. But you know we have our I I'd say we have a solid consistent six to eight people with with uh a few more who who have been been over to the uh the thunderdome you know my my, <laughs> <laughs> my man cave you know and uh you know All right. and uh we've grown quite a quite a bit and uh and uh and i'm enjoying it so i'm gonna keep doing it and then we mm-hmm. have the the wandering hobo a- which is uh here nick who who goes between he travels yeah. between war, between realms, going between Seoul, between Songdo and Pyeongtaek. He's everywhere. Mm-hmm. He's like herpes. It, He's everywhere. Oh god! <laughs> I am Slanesh. Well, but, it checks uh, out. No, I was gonna say that was uh, one of the things I did even before, like I took on like the admin, like like kind of helping lead things. I even just did that because I'm like, I want to play as many tables as possible. And D, you had the worst matchup for me at the time so i wanted to <laughs> consistently play it because admech is really because admech's really bad for demons because mathematically i will fail my invulns <laughs> eventually <laughs> what do you mean eventually yeah I, I, rem- I remember it's when like five, it when was like, no, he was talking tomorrow. about playing d he said so my games with d play in one way if he go first i lose if i go first i think i win if i pull the charges so it's like it was just a gamble. Yeah, <laughs> see uh, how it goes. Nick, Nick had one yeah. uh, one really gruesome game against me where he uh, he he got first turn and and even though I deployed further back than I usually do, he still made the may still made the first turn charge. I believe one of the charges yeah was 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 a long distance charge too, and it was just yeah, it was, like it was gross. So uh, you know it happens. You know you learn from those games. I, and to be honest, uh, yeah. my thing is, uh, I, you know, everybody hates losing, right? But I just like I like it. Sounds cheesy, but I like playing games over and over and over again, which is why I play. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think I played. No, I think since I started the group and had people over on the weekends, I've missed maybe three weekends max since Jesus. I started. Yeah, as I say, you're always playing. Yeah. We talk. Yeah, I've only missed like three weekends, uh, but you know that's probably because that. my wife tolerates it. 
Uh, shout out to yeah. the 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 true yeah, overlord that, uh, of the house. Thank you for hosting the other day. Thanks for uh, opening the house right, to right, us, right. all of us, especially yeah. to all the nerds. Oh, so man, she she loves it. She she uh, this is like the first hobby I've done where she's actually uh, she actually digs it because it has a, a crafting part to it, and she's 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 yeah. into crafting. Uh, yeah, your wife's super into pottery. Yeah, I remember and that like she that. helped you build in terrain. You were like, man, that's a keeper. Yeah, yep. She helped build a lot of my terrain and yeah. stuff like that. So keeper. Did no, say, say, no, say no, stay away, stay away. No, this no, is awesome. No, this is awesome. No, stay, get out, get out. So yeah. But D, the big thing I wanted to get into here was um, I know you recent you started uh pretty recently uh playing um Warhammer, right? Like whenever you got back into it is what last year? Yeah, so I started playing in April of uh 2021. And uh at first, I thought I was going to be like you and just uh, traveling, uh, you know, to all the different uh, hubs where we have players and stuff. But then, I, I you know, I, I told my wife I really wanted to do this and I don't do it like I like we talked about earlier. I don't do anything casually. So, like, once I decided I was going to start playing, I was like, OK, well, let me find a space to play. Let me get some tables. Let me uh, get the terrain because uh if I'm not traveling, I want people to come to me and if they could just bring their armies and nothing else, then they're more likely to come. Right. Right. If yeah. you build it, they will build come. Yeah, basically, it says, it says uh, I don't want to go to hub. I'll become the hub. So there you go. There you go. It's like yeah. building a birdhouse, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because, um, yeah, the big thing that was really nice is we were concentrated mostly in Seoul. Uh, the Songdo group, um, so does, or the Incheon group, it's really funny because all of us live in Songdo. The whole big city of Incheon, all of us are in like the same area within like four kilometers of each yeah, other. <laughs> they are low key flex and they have money because they live in Songdo. There you go. There you go, bro. You've seen my place. You've seen my place. Yeah, you, you, you spend too much on Warhammer, sir. Yes, that, that's why I've seen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. I did that uh, whole pile of potential. We talked about that last week. Pile um, of potential. But so out of uh, so so far, I wanted to get into a little bit of the hobbying because I know you do. You're doing more hobbying lately. Uh, you got, I remember you said you got your ad mech and your great, or your ad mech were largely secondhand, right? Yeah. So, uh, another thing that I'm still getting used to with, uh, 40 K is the building, the painting, and then the playing, right? Cause at the end of the day, we know which part mm -hmm. of that I like. I, I like to play. I, mm -hmm. I, I, right. I, I am s slowly getting into the hobby part. Like, to be honest, I like probably making terrain better than I like building models and painting models. Oh, that's rather interesting. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. so like when I got my ad mech, I went on, I went on eBay and, and found a, a nice ad mech army that was all tabletop ready and, and bought it and went from there. The same with my gray knights. I got them off the, uh, the Facebook group, uh, Warhammer 40 K buy and sell. And then a uh, towel. Mm -hmm. I just bought the uh, off the Facebook group as well, uh, as well as. Uh, but those ones, you're uh, you're painting yourself. Yeah. So these I'm painting myself, and I'm uh, I'm trying to find the easiest, you know, easiest painting scheme I could find. To be honest, because uh, I really all I care is that they're table ready. And they have a dodge white, dodge white, white is very hard. <laughs> yeah, like at least at least three colors. You know, so so I can add to it later and not have to, you know, stress out about it. So. Right, right, right. I just love when he said Tao. Somehow he microphone changed and he said Tao. Like <laughs> so I don't know if they heard it, but no, I mean, the the, the hobby part, it's uh, it's not for everybody. It's, uh, yeah, uh, no. it's, uh, it's basically it's like saying it's an acquired taste yeah. because nobody will enjoy the painting. It takes time. Uh, it's up to uh, each of one of us. Uh, um, um, if you're enjoying it, great. If not, okay. You maybe you'll get there. But the, the worst part of the hobby is, uh, at least when it comes to building, is painting. Is finding the thing you want and how to make it happen. But once you get the recipe of the army you play, it gets easier, and then you can easily be creative. True, true. Uh, so I found a. But then, yeah. So I've been uh, I've been pretty blessed to have a good job. So what I what I usually do is. Uh, 
like now with my towel, uh, I commissioned Remy to, to, <laughs> to build, I think, uh, he has 12 crisis suits, two riptides, uh, uh, nine stealth battle suits that he's building and magnetizing for me. And I'm paying him to do it. And a cold star. And a, yeah. And a cold star. All right. Trust me. I memorized the order. I memorized the order. Yeah, so, uh, Jesus so he's Christ. building and magnetizing and I'm, and I'm paying for him. So for me, it's about skipping one of the steps and then doing, <laughs> the, doing the other ones. Right. So yep. I don't have to build yeah. this. So all I have to do is paint it and hopefully the paint job looks okay. <laughs> <laughs> You you, you yeah. get better. I, you will get I, better I, painting. I you feel will. that I'm painting. I'm undertaking starting this weekend. I'm gonna repaint my hundred and thirty some Necrons. Uh, or you could pay the death guard. I'm airbrushing. You a, can join I'm, us. Uh, <laughs> I'm uh, airbrushing them all gunmetal. I'd rather stick needles in my eyes. Um, I'm airbrushing them gunmetal. Dry brushing them for a little bit of texture. Red. Some glowing eyes. Done. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so rock just to add I, I have 92 of them uh, <laughs> just to add to that rock i did think about playing death guard when i first started because i made a list of all the armies that were uh, uh -huh. i was considering yeah. and they were on there yeah. but then once i uh -huh. delved a little bit deeper they were just too slow for my liking oh okay uh, that's true yeah, i don't like the like Fair trudging enough. up the board thing i like i yeah. like armies with uh, speed you say yeah. <laughs> so first has to be shooting and then if there's not shooting i like tricks so if I could, uh, oh. I say, if I could find shooting, hey. I was gonna say I got speed and tricks and spades. Shootings? Yeah, no, we don't do that here. Come on, we have we have <laughs> shooting. We don't. You, you have, have you seen my list? You play against my list. I mean, you play against Rock, so right. you have you seen the shooting? That is that is his list. Hey, hey I, I made some adjustment. Hey, oh uh, <laughs> yeah, you just you, you're, you're yeah. talking about your list. I fell asleep. Sorry. Yeah, I know, <laughs> but hey, it worked. Hey, it's, it's just, yeah, you can't, you can't just run exciting. demon engines and call it Death Guard. <laughs> it's like well, that meme. You can't just run demon engines and call it Death Guard. Hey, no, true. But, uh, hey, no, but today I played. Today I played that. I played the fast Death Guard. It exists. It's a stupid, what? but it's fun. <laughs> yes, it's box walkers. A lot of them. A lot of them. And they're and then, fast. And, then, and, then, and Anthony said, like, this is not fair. This is stupid. Like, yes, what? it is stupid. So it was 70 box walkers. 70 uh, box walkers? Seven, you seven, had that much? 70. You know, I was proxying Curse City mm, zombies and skeletons and cultists <laughs> as box walkers. Because <laughs> I, I don't have enough. <laughs> and uh, oh yeah, you God. spend so uh, you, you spend to CP, the box uh -huh. walkers gain extra three movement. And then you have oh. a guy who, uh, who gives. Plus one to movement, so they move flat eight, and they were advancing. So they, like turn one boxes. Okay, advance fifteen. Boom, boxes in the middle of the, the objective. That it's mine now. It is obsec. Good luck. See, and, uh, <laughs> and, and to me, Luke, that sounds like a fun list, right? Like, you, you, for me, like, and you could call it what it is, but at the end of the day, I'm a I'm a meta whore, right? Like, I, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I like. I, at least you admit it. It's okay if you admit it's it. It's okay. We, we, we know that. Yeah. Because uh, when we say, when we talk about competitive, we say, okay, this guy says, I'm not competitive, but then he goes and has f the 27 buggies. I'm like, yeah, that doesn't look like <laughs> you're just saying. That doesn't, your words do not match what you're just doing. And then it's the, they, hey, I'm playing Grey Nuts because they're meta. Hey, I'm playing, uh, now I'm playing Tau because they're meta. Hey, great. Good job. You don't hide it. I mean, it. You have uh, you have me over in the corner. Yeah, I don't want to play Dark Souls mode anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just I just always been like that. I like so people will say, oh, you know, it's the easy thing to do, right? But there is no. the, it's not it's not just pick up and win, right? Like you actually right, right. you actually have to know right. what you're you doing, it. right? You and can. that's you got to learn how to pilot yeah. it. It's a lot of time yeah. investment. And that's that's the part that really gets my uh, my gears going. So that's that's <laughs> that's what I like about uh, 40k so much. I agree. I love uh, list building, and I love that whole aspect of list building and learning. Um, and the nice part about new armies is it's not the big thing is they allow for more just margin of error for you to kind of like build a list and for it to still work. May not be optimal, but it'll just still work. It uh, just works. Yeah, for me, the recipe is uh, yeah. let's start with the good stuff, like the the Cerberus Raiders, the the Blobs uh, Rangers, the chickens, and and and, oh. and go for like just put all the good stuff in my list, and then we'll start cutting. Like 
I'm not playing. Yeah, it's. Um, I'm not playing with anything that's well, like not going to get the job done, right? So right, you start with your best unit with a couple of your best units, and then you just build out. Um, Rachel likes to make fun of me for that. Yeah. Yeah. So it's simple. Exactly First, that. you grab the battle scribe. You go to heavy support. You put three premium scrollers, mm -hmm. and then you build. And then you build the rest. There you go. Yeah, I totally get it. Yes. There you go. There you go. Demons, you just go to HQ. You grab three keepers in Bellacor and then figure out what you want to do from there. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. You've already built in a thousand points, so just fill out the other half of your who list. Knows, who knows what Tal's going to be, but uh, did you see the points oh, on God. the hammerheads? <laughs> or, wait, wait, is it out? No, it's not out. That, it got that, leaked. Yes, it's 145. It's 145 points that per hammerhead. That is, e even oh, that the, gun is going to be 30 points at least. No, it's not. They should, the, the, the ion cannon is the most expensive gun out of the two the eye yes the but but yes. wait 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 don't 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 trust those numbers because the custodius book just launched and the and then the bodies are already nerfed because they said no this players on the book are gonna get nerfed in the true monitoring true. field manual true. so the main this will may not true, be final. they are leaks you know you so you gotta take yeah. leaks you know as they yeah. come With the grain of salt, one yeah. guy leaked that the contemptor relic contemptors were gonna go up by like 60 points so, <laughs> but the, but that is something I find funny about Tau because I mean don't get me wrong I'm not I'm not enjoying shooting armies because I play admin today and shooting face was like can you please stop shooting because <laughs> <laughs> he's like okay this guy's gonna shoot all that okay this guy is like like it's, it's been the 15 minutes and like he keeps keeps shooting like please can you can I can you let me something live can but I have the, a turn please yeah but at the same time yeah by the time he was finished I was like okay it's my turn now yes okay thank God but at the same time I. I feel that the Tau are like, oh no, three rail guns. I'm like, that's not fair. And then the guy brings three uh, ball kites, uh, dreadnoughts. Like, it's the same thing. You just, it's just, right. <laughs> it's the same thing, dude. You just keep bringing the thing. Like, okay, yeah, uh, okay. I cannot bring three rail guns, but you can bring uh, ten dreadnoughts. It's the same thing. So, yeah. I think, I think Tau's big thing is they're gonna suffer from a. Uh, a, I think they're going to keep their their pretty bad ballistic skills of force. No, force they, will. they will. I think so too. Um, the and I right. think they're going to suffer from l the opposite thing that uh, Admech has. They're going to have a lack of shots. They're going to have Ooh. a couple big hitter weapons. But if those things missed, it's game. If those things miss, it's game over. It's you heard they here, have folks. A couple big hitters. Well, the market. You heard they here, folks. What was that? No, 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 sorry, sorry, go on, sorry, sorry. Well, the marker light okay. change looks uh, looks interesting, so those things are hitting. It's an action, which I think is really yeah, nice. Yeah, so the, those things hitting on fours will be hitting on threes, which will which will help a lot. But, you know, we'll see how it goes. I'm, I'm super right. excited for uh, for the Tau. Like, uh, so out of the three armies I have currently, uh, I like Admech the best. I do like uh, Grey Knights because they have a lot of tricks, too. The only thing I uh, yeah. kind of dislike about them that uh, competitive wise, there's not a lot of uh, diversity. Right. right. That is right. Uh, what happens with certain mono factions, yeah. and that's what you discover with the uh, Gradients. Yeah. It's, it's like the other card. I mean, you want to play something else, but then you're limited to what you have. Okay. This is something that I always get upset, especially when uh, uh, talk about Space Marines. Oh. Oh, my units suck, but yeah, you can choose to do whatever you want with your Plague Marines. For me, I have Plague Marines. That's all I have. So I need to make sure to those Plague Marines make whatever I want them to do, even if they don't do it efficiently. But at the same time, it's kind of a good thing that I don't have to, you know, uh, invest so much in so many different options of, of HQ or units to do right. the job. True, because Admech was very uh, expensive. And that's the thing. Yeah. Uh, sp uh, Space Marines are like the Swiss Army Knife Codex. That's kind of like always been their trademark is they do a little. They're not the best at anything, well, they're jack but of they all do trades. everything decent. They do everything pretty decently. Yeah. There is a chapter for every phase. You know, there's a there's a flavor. There's a flavor of Space Marine for every player out there. You can find something. Um, that's why I think almost every player like at one point has owned a Space Marine force. Just oh, they are the poster boys. Yeah, sure. they are the poster boys. Yeah. But no, I do. Uh, and I mean, for good reason. There's 10 Space Marine armies. Yeah, there's a lot. At least. There's a lot. But no, I do like uh, Grey Knights. Uh, I like that I get to play in every phase of the game. And I feel like that's like that could be an advantage in certain uh, certain uh, aspects of the game. Right. 
Like, For because, sure. yeah. <laughs> because I know when Grey Knights first came out, they said they wouldn't be great at shooting, but all those storm bolt shots plus the five, uh, the five, uh, dread Knights plus the right. smites, you know, I, I consider smites like shooting, right? Like, right, right. so combine all that together and we're pretty good at it. So, uh, you know. Oh boy! If you consider yeah, smite shooting, saying, they're not—they're <laughs> not amazing at shooting, but they're—they're—they're uh, they're, they're good enough. Yeah, yeah. To where it kind of justifies. Yeah, they're really good in combat. It's, it's like amazing, great though. knights are just <laughs> decent in every phase. They're just like they're good in psychic, and then they're just decent in all the others, and it, it works for yeah, them. I remember I was testing the uh, the mortal wound uh, Libby before the tournament, and one of the games I played, he put out uh, twelve mortal wounds by himself. So, Oof. and then yes. and then you had each five man unit do a smite here, you know, two two mortal wounds, and before you know it, the end of the psychic phase, you just put out fourteen to sixteen mortal wounds before you even started shooting. Yeah. Yep, I've done that. Right. It super feels good, especially when you target something squishy. We have like Drukari. Yeah. I did. I did oh, it. Yeah. I, I did. I remember. I did this uh, super smite, and I did seven mortal wounds total. So six from this from roll plus one for rolling seven. Um, oh, uh, ten man squad down to three. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love doing that. I think my I think my record. I don't know if I've told you this, guys. My record for mortal wounds in a single turn was like twenty two. You monster. <laughs> but it's because I run six psychers, so right. I just kept I just kept uh, rolling hot, um, and they castled. So the chicken alone put off like fourteen of them. But yeah, it's crazy. Like I love doing that. <laughs> it is probably the most satisfying thing in the world. Whenever you like do, you hit like, that. So far. Like, uh, nice. Well, the big thing was I hit Infernal Gateway, which does D, and I rolled a tw- uh, ten with which the chicken it becomes a twelve. Oh. Um, I got D six mortal wounds on like five or six squads because they all were clustered. I got D six mortal wounds on like three or four squads in the same area. Jesus. I, I yeah, just so. I just love doing more than once in movement phase. Ah, oh, feels so good. Just stop it with your plague skull. <laughs> Everybody loves the plague skull. <laughs> oh yeah, but, the plague um, skull whiffed today, so I don't know. It's very hey hey. You, you always say believe in the heart of dice. Well, clearly they betray you. Or oh, your loaded Chinese dice um, didn't work today. Oh my god, are you seriously you so, against me right now? Ah! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, so, go on, go on. Um, D, I just want to kind of go on to like going back to what you say about starting the, uh, um, you know, kind of building the home base for what has now become, you know, one of our big one of our big zones. We have zones from Seoul to Jeju, but you've become one of our big three. How did what was your like? How did you had, had the experience been building that like is it just like i'm here for the ride or did you have like an idea going in um like i like i mentioned before like uh, so i didn't i didn't want to be the guy right like i just wanted to to be honest i just wanted to show up show up at somebody's house every weekend with my army in play and once i got to Pyeongchang and i figured that probably wasn't going to happen you know i told myself oh well i guess i got to be the guy so uh so yeah. that's that's where when it started, and then uh, I think, uh, like I told you, I knew about Benny's group. So then I something told me, hey, you know, go on. Uh, I was I was uh, involved with some magic groups on uh, in Korea in the Facebook uh, groups, and uh, I remember seeing some post about Warhammer. So I said, oh, let me see if there's any Warhammer groups on Facebook, and I found something about war gaming and miniatures or something and then i saw sue's post in there so that's when i uh you know started doing some more digging and then i found this super huge group of all these people all these uh expats that played uh 40k and then uh and then as soon as i found that group i texted benny i was like hey did you know about this group and he's like what are you talking about and i was <laughs> so it to me it was a surprise that he didn't even know about it so you know, that's uh, that's when it just started. I was like, all right, well, I'm going to join this group. I'm going to and I'm going to start uh, hosting games and see how it goes from here. And then uh, I started getting some military people in. And uh, I, I would say it's even in terms of like the amount of military guys and expats that, you know, I've had out to the uh, house to play. 
and it and right now it is more military but i would say uh the military is more inconsistent for obvious reasons right we just have uh they right. have insane schedules, you know, so sometimes they have to work the weekends and do these crazy hours. And then in the army. Uh, Sounds like being a hog one worker. <laughs> in, yeah. Oh, are you giving us sass right now, Nick? Is that what's happening right I say, now? I say, as, I say as I work this, I worked this morning on a Saturday. Yeah, see, I wouldn't know anything <laughs> about that because I'm no longer in the military. I used to be in the Air Force, but uh, which is more laid back than the army. But they move. They move a lot. Uh, they move like once a year and stuff. So imagine having a two, you know, two thousand plus points, or heck, even more than one army, oh, and you're in the, <laughs> and you're in the army, and then moving. It's it's pretty difficult. So so we don't. Yeah, I'm I'm staring at my shelves right now, and I shudder at the exactly. thought. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So so usually they're. There are a lot of military players that are um, military people who play, but they don't play like we play. You know what I mean? All right, right. It's just more casual. Yeah, right. a lot, a lot more casual. So when I found uh, Piontech Nick, you know, it was like match made in heaven. To be honest. <laughs> I love how we now like have to specify because we always got us mixed up for like the first two or three always, months. And it just stuck. So that's <laughs> Pyongtuk Nick and Inchon Nick. In the beginning, I just yeah. used to say the yeah. Nick that talks too much. <laughs> that did not narrow it down. That does not narrow it down. It does. <laughs> my wife, my wife even, knows <laughs> when I say, when she says, which Nick? The one that talks too much? I say, yeah, that one. <laughs> she knows. <laughs> the big bearded one. <laughs> As I say, and now, and you know, now I have a podcast. So, who's <laughs> out here? <laughs> now it's justified. We're winning in every level. I, I gave myself an outlet. I gave myself an outlet. Hey, for that's this. how you do it. That's how you succeed in life, right? <laughs> but yeah, so uh, I like. It's yeah. been it's been it's been going good. Uh, I wish I could find a way to to find more competitive players, or you know introduce the casual players to competitive in a in a different way because i feel uh you know some of the casual players that come out play a game and it's just it's either too much for them or they just don't want to do it which is cool so uh that's what i'm uh trying to work on now i don't know if it's gonna work but yeah but that is something that we discussed in the past because some people like you said they say they are not competitive but they don't like losing they don't like losing yeah so, so right. even they, 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 they're the same. That's the the, the you know that's, that's, that doesn't compute. So yeah. if you're not competitive, you don't like losing. What's what's the kick, right? Yeah, I'm at a, and that I'm happens. At a we we, we had that be, we had that people uh, especially in in this kind of circle. So it happens a lot. Mm -hmm. So you need to like yeah. balance it out. So you painted your little toy soldiers. You don't want to see them shot off the table. <laughs> <laughs> but it, but it's the curse of the models, man. I, I got it. Like I painted. I remember. The oh, you paint a new model. So, yeah, Boom, yeah. I brought, my, I brought my disc color. I brought my disc color. First game. Boom. I exploded on turn one. Okay, there you go, disc color. And maybe, there you go. It's three, it's three hours of painting him. And maybe there that's the reason I'm not uh, attached as much. Because, you know, I to be honest, oh, yeah. I, I, I really show no loyalty to my army. It's like... F oh. F F F Although, F I will say, for a person that says he doesn't mind as much, you never understood me whenever it'd be like, I just killed a keeper. Eh, you win some, you lose some. <laughs> you're, you're cracking up. You like shot down a 20 man blob of demonettes, and I look at you, I'm like, yeah, at least I don't have to take morale anymore. <laughs> yeah, like if, for me, it's like, if a, if a, uh, whatever they call it, like a, a new, uh, new rules came out, and or no, just like Ad, what happened to Admech when they, when they, you know, destroyed them and increased all these points, which was needed. Jump shit. You know, which was needed. You know, I just decided to to move on. You know, no loyalties. You know, I ain't got time for that. No strings attached. <laughs> and but um, I know that for every time I go down there, though, I feel like I play someone new, and it's always a new army. Like there seems to be just a massive spread of factions down there. Oh yeah, there. man, we're we're pretty diverse. So uh, besides having. Uh, more and more players, you know, we have multiple players who have two and three armies. So we actually have a nice spread. And I, now that I think about it, we don't have 
many people that play the same army. So we have Admech, GK, Tau, Drakari, Space Wolves, Orcs, Custodes, Blood Angels, uh, Imperial Knights, uh, Chaos, you choose what it is. Uh, and uh, <laughs> yeah, we have we have a lot, man. It's crazy. That sounds like you need some. De- yeah, it sounds like you need some death guard there, man. We, Just saying, we have uh, death guard. Oh, you do. Jared, uh, has, Jared. has two thousand plus points, and that's why I said uh, chaos. Choose what you want. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Because because right, right, right. he because he has it all. We you got flavor of yeah, the month. He chaos. Has it, he has it all, and then uh, yeah. So we have a we have a diverse uh, group of guys that play all play different things. We we are lacking in in space marines. So if you think about it. Uh, Nick doesn't play the Space Wolves anymore. Drew plus, plays Blood Angels, soon to be Tau. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, but playing those two, fa- it's because they play Blood Angels and Space Wolves. And as I've said, playing Blood Angels and Space Wolves, it's like playing Warhammer on Dark Souls yeah. mode. Yeah, I'm sure Drew is tired of... <laughs> it's uh, just so hard these tired days. Tired of playing into Drakari and uh, whatever I'm playing, so... <laughs> I think Drew. I think Drew's just tired of just getting yeah, so punched. He's like, I know, I know he's. I know he's looking forward to his to his towel. We talked about it. Um, it's new, so it better yeah. be good. I, yeah, I, probably, I, all I'm saying, gonna... all I'm saying is, like, get ready for towel versus towel because those will be some boring matches, my friend. I don't mind mirror matches, though. You know, I did a lot of mirror matches, and uh, you in, tried Death Guard versus Death Guard, and it was not fun. Yeah, that sounds <laughs> that sounds terrible. <laughs> But uh, it is, it is, it is. Yeah. But in Magic the Gathering, oh, it's be the, ready for the Tau hate. In Magic the Gathering, it's the same. Like there's a, you have even probably even more mirror matches. Can you imagine blue deck against blue deck? Oh my god. Yeah, so it's uh, you know, I'm I'm used to that part of it, and sometimes it's cool to be a like a specialist when it comes to mirror matches and stuff. Right. So, you know, it's what it is. Bring it on. T- tau just gets a lot of hate. Tau just gets a lot of hate because they're they are very uninteractive for your opponent because there's no way and same reason Admet got hate. There's no way to play I shoot you from the other side of the table in an interactive yeah. fashion. Right, but this time it's like you don't even get a save. <laughs> Oh, it's one gun. It's well, one gun. I was gonna say I can't. I can't. You know, as much as I want to complain about you don't get a save, I can't say anything. I have been abusing the hell out of my Bellacor for Same. like six months. And it's one gun. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's one gun or one gun. I'm gonna have. The problem is, it's one gun on <laughs> no, eight what, what, what what made annoying from the Admic was not just oh we shoot you. It's just that they could do everything. They could shoot. They could fight. They could engage. They, the they, they could play everything. Every single aspect of the game. And they would outperform people who armies who specialize in that thing alone, for example. That's what yeah. made Admech strong. Not because they uh, they shoot it. Oh right. yeah, I mean, Wrath of Mars. Yeah, it sucks. But then, for example, today I was playing the Sicarian Rust Talkers. Dude, they advance, make you fight last, exploding damage, strength six, five attacks yep. each, and like, dude, mortar wounds. Yeah, I was like, bro, uh, full rerolls no re-rolls. he had because he was like, dude. Uh, you you are not fighting a marine or a box. You are fighting a blighter terminator. It's supposed to be the beefiest uh, terminator in the game, and he just yeah. bombed right. them to death. And like only one guy survived. I was like, in extra okay, save uh, range. And, and and that is and that was because he got into melee and he dropped them. In the meantime, before I got there, I got shot by uh, rat cleansing, rat Bolly, uh, volcano, last cannons. Like okay, uh, can you let me do something? You're shooting me. You get you bury on me in melee. You're, you're like okay, stop playing the mission. Yeah, <laughs> that that's what made Iron Man strong. And the case with with Tau is like yeah, it's interactive, it's single phase. I will shoot you off the board, and you cannot stop me. And even if you get close, it will still shoot you off the board, even if you get close. <laughs> yep. Oh, you can actually fall back and shoot, right? Even. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Yep. The whole, the, the, what made Tau that strong is, for example, even if you make it melee, they will just do the greater good and good luck against that. I don't know if you play against Tau before, uh, Rock, but um, I, pl- uh, I played bro- I, I played watch. against a guy who brought uh, four Riptides. It, sorry, it was three Riptides. Oh, the yeah, tri- it was the three Riptides yeah. and a gun line of, of regular Tau. And then he said the greater good. I think he rolled around 200 dices, just pure, sh- pure shooting. Trick. Well, that and, sounds amazing. Yeah, and then my, of course, my five my guys were absolutely dead. I was like, okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's my favorite. Uh, uh, we used to, so I come from the cold sweat days of seventh edition Tau. 
where Tao got all their hate. Um, and it was, uh, we called it Broverwatch. Because if you charged one Tao, you had to deal with all his well, buddies. Good, good news. It was, the leaks are true. And I believe I believe this is no more. Yeah, I believe it's, it's, it is true that uh, that that ability is gone for the entire army. So. Ouch! Is that is, is right. This? You could Overwatch with any unit that was within like yeah, yeah and it had and it was visible to the thing that was charging. So yeah. what what wow. what the tower uh, did? They, they they will make a gun line and definitely everything wow. can see you. So you would have to the only way to like deal with that stuff if you do some really some. Wacky charges from corners from from terrain, so they cannot everybody to shoot you. But still, right, right, I mean, right. oh, you hit on sixes, yeah. But when they, you had when the guy rolls two hundred dice and he hits on sixes, that doesn't matter too much, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Mathematically, you will eventually yes. die. So rolling two hundred dice sounds like exactly what I want to be doing. <laughs> You roll more than 200. You play AdMech, it's what you do. <laughs> what you do. That sounds like a whole lot of fun, but it goes. I don't on. even know how I survive against that. Thing. Oh my god. So, yeah, so you're gonna hard, charge? Yes. And there the you go. The hard part is just setting out the dice. <laughs> right. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. You got to a point that Benny had to told you to, gee, you should get a smaller dices. <laughs> I'll just see you clocking because you're just shooting so much Overwatch, having fun with your 200 yeah. dices. And, oh, you're out of time, bro. Yeah, I have, I have bad eyes, Rock. I need big dice, man. If I could, I'd play with bigger dice. <laughs> he, he took he rode his he rode his triceratops to get the first de- Eldar boxes, okay? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. The disrespect here, man. Come on. That's, that's all right. So oh, so God. see see that this is the kind of thing that you, you get to uh, you get to taste the towel first, Nick. Just because of that, please shoot him with the kill Balakor and his keeper with your railgun. Please do it. I wanna see it happen. Oh, you said rail gun? Wait, wait. Or did you mean rail guns? Oh, yeah. Oh, Sorry. Rail God. guns and then okay. the broadsides and then whatever everything else. I have, I have three on the table right now that are built. Um, one that's yeah, not. I mean, like, you know what, what scared me the most is that, like, <laughs> when the when the sneak peek of the rail gun was released with, like, the insane status or something like that, in my personal opinion, then he just posted there, like, oh, I have three arrowheads. <laughs> Yeah, they are built and, uh, and ready to go. And the the worst part is, is I knew about these hammerheads uh, well in advance. Um, and then that dropped, and I'm like, "You have got to be kidding!" <laughs> I sent D, I sent you that. Uh, I sent you that meme with the keeper's yep. secrets and the four hammerheads behind, or the four hammerheads behind it. I'm like, I'm but done. Nick, <laughs> Nick, tell them, tell them the picture I put in in our chat. After uh, the uh, the uh, the link came out, what did what was it a picture of? Oh man, which one was it? It was an eBay order. It was an eBay oh. receipt of two hammerheads. Oh yeah, the eBay <laughs> order, and literally it, the leak comes out, and D sends us a picture. He just bought two hammerheads. I'm like, really? You mad man? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I when that when the the thing was released, I went to Rogue Town uh, took a screenshot. Like, who did this? D was it you? And he was like sold out. I was like, D, did you do this? <laughs> And he's like, no, I bought mine yeah. off eBay. He was just oh being God, honest. Yeah, so no, I got <laughs> Yeah, the, the article came out and I seen it. I didn't even finish it. Like, I saw the stats. So I was like, okay, eBay. Oh, okay. <laughs> found, found the cheapest one. Bought it. Five minutes later. Done deal. Right. Just, right. Just, just so you don't have to worry about it. Like, at the end of the day, I don't care if uh, they're not playable, right? Like, I have right. a ton of stuff. I If I don't need them, I'll sell them. You know, no loyalties here. But, uh, it's obviously going to be a competitive thing. Like, if you are, se- oh, wait, wait, D, I would need to tell you. If you are selling your towels, uh, I would happily buy them to convert them to my death by conversions. Stop. <laughs> if, Stop. If I sell any towel, it's going to be the Drew. Okay. Aww. You know, I got okay. I, 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 I got to look out for the Pionk Tech Bros. You know what I mean? Oh. Wow, okay. See, he has no loyalty to any army, but yes to his bros. There you go. There you go. <laughs> if you're so well, com- if you're if you're so confident in your Pyongtech bros, accept my transfer for the league. Accept my transfer to come down come, and play come, in Pyongtech. Come down. Come down. <laughs> I asked for a transfer and you said I no. I did not say no to that. <laughs> Sue said no to that. <laughs> hey, this, in, in, I don't know in, why. In my, like, in my eyes, on. it's just more people to shoot at. 
So, <laughs> right. Once again, as I as I said, I'm playing. I'm playing also on top of you know my armies. I'm playing into Suhoon and Justin. Oh, I would all the love time. that. I'm tired of playing life on no, hard I would, mode. I would, man. I, would, I, would, I would love that, man. I would <laughs> like not to you know downplay anybody here, but I would I would I would love to play against. Uh, yeah, and since every week. since we're at it, you had a really really tight game against Justin in last tournament. It was like oh, man, 88 to 90. That game is still oh. haunting me, man. That yeah. game is still haunting me. That's, it, it was, to be honest, it's probably one of the best games I've played since I've been playing competitive and and I still lost. But just to know that I, I probably made two or three mistakes that game that probably co cost me the game. But I was still, I was still close yeah. probably because of the book itself, you know, just because it's a good book. You know, I felt, I felt pretty good. So the goals, the goals this year yeah. is uh, to beat Sue once and to beat Justin at least once and uh, to improve. I think that's all of us. Claim the heads of the Hydra. Of us, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Sue Hoon's the last one on my list. And the moment I get a new codex, I think it's going yeah, to happen. Yeah, I, I mean. Because I get close. To, I, I feel like I can get close now. The moment I get, in, I, it's, I'm just that kid sitting over in the corner. Just wait till I grow up. <laughs> right wait till right I now, get the I'm facing Sue next week. I uh, made it again to the league finals. Again. Oh, yeah. Good luck. Uh, Good luck last league, uh, I lost it again in the finals against Sue. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't have much expectations but I'm going to try to pull it off again to see if I can win. But my goodness. One comment, the one comment, one comment about dealing with Nitz is annoying. I hate high guard. I just hate high guard. Yeah, I, I know. I've played against his high guard before. I play a bunch of iterations of his Nitz. It's just that even if you play, even if you know what you're facing, it, right. it, the fact that you, you know what you're facing and you kind of low-key build into contra doesn't work because you're not supposed to build to contra. You're supposed to build to play the, the, the game, the mission, right? And and that's and then you fall the trap of oh I'm building to counter him but at the same time you're shooting yourself in the foot. Yeah. Hey Luke, if you want, you could borrow my uh, my Admech flyers and add some Nurgle uh, <laughs> nastiness to it, and you never know. And you just get first turn, fly across the board, and shoot the hive guard. That would actually be amazing. Actually, we had that up. We had an option to do something like that. It was so nasty. Really? No, we had some. We you know the flyers from Fort Worth. We could we uh, could use flash outbreak and have turn one, uh, park a flyer in your opponent's zone and give them this low aura, so the entire army would not would, would not be able to leave the deployment zone. But but wow. it, but it was it was nerfed like two weeks as soon as it, the book wow. landed because people complained. Wow. So they they took the good stuff. You could do it, but now they took it off. I'm like no, that's not cool, oh, man. A little off topic, but I was I was reading through the the Tau Eighth Edition book. And I, right. I saw one of the nastiest rules. I don't know if it was ever good, but the cold star moving 40 inches? Yeah, no, it's true. It's true. It's true. Daniel, what? Daniel, Daniel, my first game with Daniel, he had three Baras, the Forge World Super Suit, and then Cold Star. So it's turn yeah. one. He says, I'm going to move with Mob Star. And yeah, he moves 14 inches. He's like, uh, uh, excuse me? Yeah. yeah. He, 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 just, he just moved for his deployment <laughs> and he just parks in front of me like, what? <laughs> yeah, 40, 40 inches. Uh, I think it's gone. Uh, I, well, yeah, I think it's gone in a new book. But I, I said 40 inches. I was like, oh, my God. I want all what of them. What is this? <laughs> no, and then and in that game, I had the aura that makes you move uh, slower. And I caught the cold start moving. Like, okay. Oh, no. I only moved 20 now. 20 Boo. inches. <laughs> <I> like... <laughs> Oh, yeah, um, I do want to close out the uh, just a couple of last okay. questions for you. Um, uh, kind of building the competitive community, you know, you went from someone timing out to running this community and being one and being its most competitive player. Um, like, what was kind of how you got there? You know, you kind of went from from where you were to what you are now. Like, what was the process? What do you think oh, it was due to playing? Playing games every weekend. <laughs> that was my goal. Mm -hmm. uh, so when I when I first started, and this sounds ridiculous, maybe it's because you know how me and my father were so competitive. Like we we just turn everything into a contest, which is probably why I'm so competitive now. But uh, you know, I just uh, I said to myself when I first started playing, uh, I want to play six at least sixty games this year. All right. Oh. Uh, I want to play at least 60 games. And once I have 60 games underneath my belt, I think I'll have a grasp of the game. And then going into my first full, full year of playing 40K, 40K I want to uh, 
I want to play a hundred games this year. So, uh, so that's, that's, Let's that's the goal. And that, that includes all games, right? Tournament games, uh, you know, games during the middle of the week, the weekend games. But I think I got close to my goal last year. Once I really got in the swing of things in the summertime when, when I was, <clears throat> excuse me, I was really playing a two to three games every weekend solid for a couple months so you know 100 games this year i get i got a but definitely the most important question though i think is we uh talked about that time that i made that insane charge and the one time you let me charge your rangers and vanguard on the first turn um You know, as you've improved and as you've kind of like come up with new strategies, uh, does that moment still leave you in a cold sweat? The turn Uh, one charge. I don't know what you're talking about, Nick. So (laughs) next question. (laughs) There you go. Turn one key. Three keepers of secrets. Turn one. Can't 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 recall it at all. So I don't think I know what you're talking about, sir. No, I do not. I think in in I think in this in this chat right now, everybody play everyone rock everybody except Rock played Nick and his demons. So he has no idea what we're talking about the the, the spiciness. Uh, no, Rock was Rock was my first perfect game, and it was with my. Oh Slanesh. right, 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 right. No, Rock. But, no, but, but you played, but you played the crude version. You didn't play the super refined finesse versions. You played like the the. I'm just gonna charge turn one yeah, you and see how it goes. Now one. he's like, I'm gonna charge turn one, but I can do all this stuff too at the same time. Oh my God. And I'm gonna charge turn one, but if I don't hit you, you're still gonna. Yeah, no, no. The, 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 the thing I don't like about <laughs> playing yeah. you, Nick, is like it's turn one. You're in my deployment zone, and then okay, I'm gonna suspend the next three turns here, and <laughs> can I get out? Yeah, I think That's it's like happened. oh great, That's he's uh, he's me. done. Like literally. <laughs> It's like, oh, turn one, he's here. Oh, great, he's done. Turn two. Hey, here's my chicken. He's gonna start spitting out mortal wounds on you. Yes. What? Yeah, I think last year. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Out of all the games I played, I was only charged on my first turn or on their first turn by by Nick and uh, I think it was Sue with a Demacron. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I think it was Sue and a Demacron. Yeah, he can do so, it too. Uh, yeah, first turn charges suck. I think I messed up against uh, against uh, Pyong Tech Nick and his uh, whatever Vitae grenade that allows them to advance and charge on the first turn because I just totally forgot about it. And he threw the grenade, it went off, and he mm-hmm. got, got advanced and charged on the first turn, which was stupid. But uh, As a, Yeah. Do everyone has a plan for the first turn, for the first turn charge. Like, everyone has a plan to counter it until it yeah. hits you. Yeah, just like Mike Tyson. It's, it's like, like everyone has a plan. Every, everyone's got it <laughs> until they get today. punched in the face. And you can, exactly. and you can say that when you get yeah. shot by uh, eight uh, laser chickens, too. So. <laughs> you can say that and get stabbed in the leg. Everyone's oh, got wait. a plan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Everyone gangs. Everyone's gangster till the keepers are yeah. in your deployment yeah. zone. <laughs> <laughs> or you know me. Everyone's gangster until you fail the until you fail the save against yeah, the chicken. Too. Or you get your bio titan <laughs> shot off the board. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Every, everyone, everyone's gangster. I, I'm just gonna say thank off. you for shooting the bio titan on the table. That is something that oh. it's been bothering me for long. I'm happy you did it. It's it, it, not even my it's the, not in my feet, but I still feel proud of it. So thank you. Oh, I'm not. I'm never letting Sue forget. He was living that. I'm never letting him forget that. No, no, nobody <laughs> will do. Wait, wait, I got a question though. Which is worse, bio titan or heritage? Both I've never played against this character. Bo- both are, they did the same thing, but I think that the bio titan. Heritage is hard to hit, but by Titan is worse because not only has a cannons, he has a flamer weapon too. A 24 inch super flamer. Yeah, yeah the, he never had a chance to shoot. The, what sucks about the Hierophant <laughs> is it's expensive. Yeah, it's more expensive. Yeah, yeah. Just don't let the Bio Titan it's shoot. It's like 900 okay. points just, for the Hierophant. Just shoot it first and kill it. No, oh, yeah, definitely. I will shoot it with oh, yeah. my two Hold guns. On. Let me. Let me, let me take my demon army <laughs> and shoot the bio titan. Give me a Aloha. sec. Aloha. <laughs> uh, just, just shoot it. Just, just, just like, shoot all it. the other armies like, yep. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, what's your strategy? Uh, plan A is to shoot. Plan B is to shoot. And then plan C is probably to <laughs> shoot some more. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. I'm advanced charge, question mark, step four, yeah, there profit. <laughs> Advanced charge yeah. profit. 
But um, I think we covered everything that we wanted to cover today. So um, I am uh, I'm pretty good. Uh, so that's all from me this yeah. week. Uh, may you stay protected from the turn one charge and show more loyalty to your... <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. so uh, before, before we leave, uh, Dee, thanks for joining <laughs> us tonight, especially making time since you're a busy man, family man. Thanks for joining us and... As usual, uh, for hosting last week for the event, thanks for coming all the way here and joining us tonight. Oh, no, uh, thank you guys for having me, man. I had a lot of fun in this uh, this uh, podcast. The time went really fast. I thought I was going to be nervous and stumbling. No. But no, it was just like talking shop, right? Yep, so. very much so. Yep. Yeah, yeah, and I'm pretty sure so we'll always, be... Uh, oh, yeah. Sorry, are you going to say something there? Oh, I was saying that's always our compliment is people say it feels like while I'm painting, you guys are sitting on the couch behind yep. us talking. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure we'll be facing your scary cows in any time soon. Uh, yeah, I'm not oh, looking forward to that, oh, but God. still, I'm going gonna, gonna to have to face it. <laughs> Sa save a game for I'm going to figure out the weekend it comes out and you better save oh, a game definitely. for me. You know, they're, they're coming. They, they might not be uh, fully painted when we get our first game, but uh, they're going to be shooting. That's for Don't sure. worry. Don't worry, D. At least I'll look pretty. Don't, don't worry, D. Hide in the corner and start crying now. Don't worry, don't worry. They're not painted, D. Just on ten points. That's it. It's easy. <laughs> yeah, true, true. Yeah. You'll still win. I can't. I can't wait to see all of them on the table. Uh, once Remy uh, gets me the rest of mine, I'll have twenty-one crisis suits. Oh God! Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't. I don't. God, I don't need stop. twenty-one crisis suits, but. And on that <laughs> note, um, I think it's a good time for us to good say night. goodnight. Good so, night. Um, this is all from the crew. Bye. 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 Now go bless.